Hey everyone, Cookie here. I have for you a Mini Slayer gameplay. If you don't know, Mini Slayer is the newly inputted game type to the Action Sack playlist. I told you in my last Action Sack gameplay that that uh, Action Sack is underrated, and this has made it more underrated. So I encourage you to play Action Sack. Mini Slayer, what is it? Um, I'll explain to you really briefly by looking at the Spartans. As you can see, they're miniature sized, hence Mini Slayer. Um, that's me with my assault rifle and my concussion rifle. My teammate is right here. As you can see, they have to hold the assault rifle on their shoulder. The enemy should be up here, I believe. Yes, there you go. Shoulder assault rifle, shoulder assault rifle, and there is my teammate getting double teamed. Anyway, I've played Mini Slayer twice. This is the second game. Both of the times it's been on this map, which is rail. I just want to tell you a few of the things I've observed about the game type. One thing, the concussion rifle, it spawns very frequently and very randomly, but each time it spawns, I encourage you to pick it up. Um, I've noticed that the concussion rifle is extremely effective on this game type. It almost seems more effective than it is when Spartans are regular size. I'm not exactly sure about that. It may be psychological, but it definitely seems to be that way. As you can see, I have an ordinance. Sticky Debt, Damage Boost, and Scatter Shot. Um, I've noticed that the Assault Rifle takes almost the entire clip to kill, unfortunately, unless you're really, really close to the enemy. So, I encourage you when you're playing this game type to just wait, you know, wait around walls, just get up close to the enemy if you're going to use an Assault Rifle. I called on my damage boost, hoping that it'll take, like, maybe half a clip or a quarter of a clip to kill someone. Unfortunately, I don't really get that big of a chance to test it out because I go one shot right here. I don't want to lift up into two of them. They're, they have the high ground, and it would pretty much be foolish death if I moved in. So I just try to stay alive. I try to pick off this guy, but he's smart and he backs away because he knows I have damage boost. But ordinances. Some of the effective weapons in this game our fuel rod gun. Fuel rod gun is probably the most effective weapon I saw in this game. You'll see that I pick it up once and I get two kills with it. And the reason it's so effective is because the Spartans are mini Spartans and the fuel rod cannon, if you didn't know, unleashes a huge green blast. And it is super big and as long as it connects with any part of the enemy, then they die in one hit. I wouldn't normally lift up here, but I know I have the concussion rifle, so I think I can get a kill. I end up damaging myself with the last shot, and they pick me off. As you can see right here, the enemy has an interesting setup. I don't know if they planned this. Maybe they did. Maybe they were a party. But they all pretty much stayed in the same place. Uh, we end up going up here. Or we you know, double team them and take out this voltage guy and then the enemy starts to take this position it's pretty interesting we yeah I missed the fuel rod cannon right there but the position they take is pretty interesting and I think it's a, a nice strategy for this mini slayer game type is pretty much just sit especially on rail pretty much sit in one location with all of your teammates because with the Star Rifle spawns, double teaming and triple teaming and just in general team shooting is extremely effective. I found that doing like one-on-one -on -one battles isn't that common in this game type, so the more people you can have, the better. Right here is the start of their, I guess, reign in this, in this area. So I get taken out. All four of us are on this ramp. I know they're across the way. I try to nade them. And if I move in right now, there are all four of them right there, so I know I'm going to die. I try to get some long-range shots, but obviously I can't since I have an AR. They have a guy in the back with a railgun, so I don't want to be too hasty to move in. 
Just trying to move in with my teammates, get some kills, I end up getting railgunned unfortunately, and I die along with two of my teammates. Concussion rifle spawns, it is a power weapon in this game type for sure, so I pick it up. What's also pretty cool is that there are jetpacks around. Jetpacks are also pretty effective in this game type if you want to get around pretty quickly. I end up getting concussion rifled right there, it just shows you how strong it is. But I pick up the assist. So I catch this voltage guy off guard, I end up picking up the kill, and I want to regain my shields right here. You can see that I have the ordinance of a saw. I tried damage boost earlier, so I'm going to choose the saw this time. I try to beat this guy down, doesn't really work. That's another thing in this game type, beat downs. I haven't seen them work. I don't get any I don't try any beatdowns in this game. That's just because the first game of Mini Slayer I played, and I ran up to people and I beat them down. It lunges properly, it makes an like a beatdown sound, but for some reason the enemy doesn't take any damage. Maybe I have to be extremely close to them, but I hadn't landed a beatdown even though I tried at least three of them, maybe four of them. So beating down this game is not effective. Even if it does work, going for it really is not that great. As you can see right now, I'm using the saw and scatter shot. The saw, surprisingly, isn't that great in this game type. It's pretty much on par with the assault rifle, but the scatter shot, as you can see, is extremely effective. Uh, as you know, you can rapid fire the scatter shot. And since it has such a great or a big reticule and it fires in a scatter, you can obviously hit the very small enemies. So it's extremely effective. And uh, definitely recommend using it. So you can see right here, I'm just trying to keep the high ground because I know they're all down low. Fuel rod cannon spawned bottom mid, usually where the overshield spawns, and you can see that guy had overshield. Uh, this gameplay is wrapping up. I think it goes to 600 points, so we only have 12 more kills. Right here, I try to flank them. End up picking up this kid. Uh, I actually got, yeah, I got the kill. And this is the only time I pick up the fuel rod cannon. I notice this guy's here. One shot kill. I lift up. One shot kill. And then I see four of them on my radar, so I want to go up and get, like, a kill tactular or a kill trocity, but I end up getting naded right off of lift. Kind of unfortunate, but it is what it is. Pop up here, try to help my teammate out, and I try to kill this exile guy. Right there is an example of, of what I think is a little bit wrong about this game type. I think the assault rifle should be modified to do more damage. Maybe they did that, but... Uh, the exile guy was pretty weak and I unloaded at least half a clip into him with an assault rifle from pretty close range and he didn't die. Um, that's just something that I guess is an encouragement and entices you to pick up other weapons and use ordinances. So as we're approaching the last kill I end up reloading on this guy and then I rush out and end up picking up the last kill. Victory. So... We ended up winning that match. It was an action sack gameplay once again. Uh, Mini Slayer is a very popular game type that they added to the rotation. I ended up with 23 kills. And just wanted to show you the new game type and what is bringing everyone to action sack. I believe the playlist has, even at midnight or 1 in the morning, it has close to 3,000 players. And during the day it probably has many more. But anyway, uh, more gameplays to come. Like, comment, and subscribe if you want to. And lastly, um, actually, that is all I have to say. So, see you later.